I was blessed to have the opportunity um, to shoot a four-page spread for Tiffany Jewelry that was published in um, the September issue of Vogue China. I have had the problem where, you know, if I'm trying on dresses for a wedding catalog, my hips don't fit, even though I am um, a certain size, which a sample size which a model should be able to fit into. One example I can think of, like, is an Old Spice commercials that they wanted me to do. And after looking through the script, I wasn't, I emailed them back saying I wasn't interested because it had, like, the description was me wearing a bikini and saying like kind of degrading things and so I wasn't comfortable with that I think mostly because I differentiate modeling in like my actual life if people were to see me half naked saying like degrading things to a man I just didn't like the way that sounded so that's like kind of how I make those decisions is this something that my parents would want to see me in, you know, this is something that I want my future employers to see me in. Um, and that's kind of how I make my decisions. When I did a hair commercial, they, they photoshopped every single detail that you can think of. They do everything they can to get people to buy their products. So when you're walking through, like, the grocery store, and you want to buy box hair color, and you see this beautiful, like, girl, you have to remember that, like, those are, n that's actually not what her hair looks like, you know. When I did that commercial, it took them four hours to put my extensions on, to pin my hair back, to, like, do all these things to make it look like, and they didn't even use the products that they were selling. They use other, other companies' products. So if you think you're buying something, you're not necessarily, like, that's not how your hair is going to look like. And I think that's something that really hit me hard when I was doing the commercial. It's like, wow, this is all lies, you know? I do think that they should have an obligation to protect these people and an obligation to, like, be honest and show the reality of their product, but that doesn't sell. I mean, it's just unrealistic for them, for us to think that they should have, that they should protect their clients. Especially for kids, like, and little, like, young girls, like, they don't have the kind of, like, information that we do, and they don't know. Photoshop goes into, like, images, and so they think, when they see an image, they think that that's how the, actually the person looks. For older people, and for us who have an education, or, like, has seen the impact on the, these industries, like, we know to differentiate between that, but they they don't have that process, and so I think I think it's difficult for them to understand that like it's okay if you don't have a small waist and you know huge a huge breast. Although I do think that they should have an obligation to protect those people, I don't think it's going to happen because they just care about the money, you know rather than, like, how 13-year-olds think of themselves.